Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, December 20th. A major storm system is unfolding at this hour across the deep south. It will have a big impact on the eastern third of the nation over the next 36 to 48 hours or so. In fact, it's already causing a lot of severe thunderstorm activity across the state of Florida. Tornado watches and warnings are out. A line of strong storms right now uh, just to the east of Tampa will move from west to east across the state over the next several hours. Meanwhile, up the coast, flash flood watches are in effect really from the Mid-Atlantic region all the way up into New England and way up north across the state of Maine. There are winter weather advisories in that part of the country. It'll be cold enough for freezing rain at the onset, but even there, uh, it looks like it'll change over to plain rain with this upcoming major storm system. Here is the current NOAA weather watches and warnings map and just take a look at all these different colors up and down the eastern seaboard again ice at the onset across northern New England flash flood watches in green here all the way down to uh, North Carolina and even down into South Carolina and across northern Florida of course many spots in the eastern half of the nation have already received uh, the wettest years ever places like DC Baltimore wettest years on record already before we even get into this upcoming uh, major storm event Philadelphia is ranked second right now and this upcoming storm looks like it could dump as much as two to three inches of rain on places like DC Philadelphia New York City perhaps even higher uh, locally higher amounts with this upcoming major storm system across Florida all the yellows represent a tornado watch and few areas already tornado warnings again a, a very vigorous upper level pattern associated with a developing strong storm at the surface will have a big impact up and down the eastern seaboard over the next couple of days well here's the current radar loop from WSI's and telecast.com again a line of strong to severe thunderstorms uh, at this hour across western and central part of Florida basically moving from uh, west to east across the state today and again many tornado watches and warnings out uh, rain has not moved into the DC metro region but it should uh, reach that particular part of the mid-Atlantic region by the early afternoon perhaps early to mid-afternoon in Philly and then by evening up across New York City and once the rain arrives it will not take long for it to pick up in intensity certainly looks like heavy rain overnight in the I-95 car in a region, possible drenching thunderstorms at times of what as well. Temperatures will actually rise in the overnight hours, probably near 60 degrees on Friday morning when you wake up in D.C., Philadelphia, even New York City, a spring-like feel to the day on Friday. Winds will be strong out of the south late tonight and tomorrow morning, and there will continue to be occasional rain on Friday with, again, the threat for some thunderstorms up in the uh, I-95 corridor region. So again, a very wide area being impacted here, and again, two to three inches of rain can fall in the I-95 corridor region from D.C. to New York and all the way up to Boston on already very well saturated ground. So certainly localized flooding will become a serious concern during this upcoming major storm event. Well, let's take a look at some forecast maps of 500 millibar height anomalies from the Zero Z GFS model run. We've seen this pattern repeat over the last few weeks here with very vigorous upper level support way down in the deep south. And this, uh, the, the far southern extent of this wave of energy is one of the reasons why Florida is under the gun this morning, way down in the deep south. And that will help to set off a strong surface storm that will slide up to the west of the I-95 corridor region. So places like D.C., Philadelphia, New York City will be on the warm side of this particular system. In fact, all the way up and down the Atlantic seaboard, it'll be on the warm side, strong southerly winds. Again, a spring-like feel to the day on Friday in much of the region here. Let's keep moving forward. By the way, these maps from tropicaltidbits.com. By tomorrow night, the storm will be uh, still impacting the I-95 corridor region with occasional showers, maybe a thunderstorm. Then a strong cold front will slide through. Winds will shift late tomorrow night uh, to a northwesterly direction. Here we go by Saturday morning. Basically much colder, 
drier air starts to pour into the mid-Atlantic region riding in on strong northwesterly winds. Let's keep moving forward. It turns out uh, the second half of the weekend will be much calmer but sunny, dry and cold on Sunday and then we'll watch a couple of uh, relatively weak systems here for the early and middle part of next week. Maybe two different uh, systems to watch for the Monday Christmas Eve time frame and perhaps Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, of course, Tuesday is Christmas Day. There's the first wave Sunday night and Monday, and then here comes the second wave to watch for the Tuesday night, Wednesday time frame. Well, let's now walk through the surface forecast maps from last night's Zero Z GFS model run surface low pressure right now along the northern Gulf Coast, a kind of a secondary reflection over the panhandle of Florida, and again, some severe thunderstorm activity already across the state of Florida. Woke up this morning with a red sky here in the Philadelphia metro region and in this particular case red sky and morning sailors warning that adage certainly will come true. By the way it's basically because the sun is in the east that uh, with the red sky that's telling you that there's clouds moving in from the west to the east oftentimes a signal that a storm is coming and in this particular case it certainly is. Let's move forward here in six hour increments. Uh, some moisture sneaking up the coastline here, perhaps by midday across the Delmarva Peninsula, southern part of New Jersey. Certainly during the afternoon, the rain reaches DC, Philadelphia, probably even uh, New York City by late afternoon. And then tonight, let the games begin. The winds will start to really scream out of the south. Temperatures will rise all night long, probably from the 40s early tonight right through the 50s and perhaps near 60 degrees by tomorrow morning in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. Heavy rain at times tonight, possible drenching thunderstorms, and that will not go away tomorrow. The temperatures perhaps 60 to 65 degrees, strong winds out of the south, occasional showers, perhaps some drenching thunderstorms. Certainly some of the rain will continue to be heavy at times on Friday. Here we go now into Friday night. Eventually a strong cold front slides on through and that will uh, generate a quick wind shift out of the south or southwest to the northwest. Strong northwest winds late tomorrow night into the day on Friday. The uh, precipitation should end Friday morning in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. A windy cold day with some sunshine on Saturday and then by the time Sunday rolls around it'll calm down. The wind certainly much less on Sunday as compared with Saturday. Still dry and cold for this time of the year despite the fact that there'll be some sunshine to close out the upcoming weekend. So a major storm system unfolding at this hour across the deep south. It'll have a big impact on the eastern third of the nation over the next 36 to 48 hours or so. That's it for now. For PerspectiveWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.